Wait, why are you taking this one down? Why are you taking this down? Why are you taking it down? If it's on the sidewalk. Okay, come on, you can have some more respect. You can have some respect. No, okay, but why did, if it's on the sidewalk? It's on the sidewalk, what's your badge number? Can I have the signs at least? Can I have the signs at least? Why not? If it's on the sidewalk, why does it need to be taken down? What's your badge number? 1343. Who knocked all this shit down? They did. They ripped that shit down. Officer Frankie, what's your badge number, boss? 1344. 1344? On the on a public sidewalk? Yeah. Every vigil. Every vigil. So the vigils in Bakersfield that are around there, you take those down too? Posters. Yeah, I hope that glass got all in the back of your car too. But they can leave all this. You give him his badge number because we got that shit too. Littering on the sidewalk. Hey everybody, San Joaquin Audits here. So the video you just watched took place in Bakersfield a couple days ago when the police took down a vigil of Dante Wright. For those who don't know who Dante Wright is, he was fatally shot by a police officer in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, about 10 miles away from where Derek Chauvin was found guilty yesterday for murdering George Floyd. Police pulled over Mr. Wright on Sunday afternoon for a traffic violation related to expired registration tags. Officers then discovered that he had a warrant out for his arrest. This ongoing demonstration of police brutality has sparked protests all over the country, and the latest being in Bakersfield where a vigil was held for Dante Wright and Adam Toledo on Sunday night. I found both of these clips on 661 Voices Heard's Instagram page. Go check them out and make sure to thank them for posting both of these videos. Interestingly enough, here's what the Bakersfield PD had to say about their officers taking down the vigil of Dante Wright. Chalk and permanent marker. Um, that stuff was written um, on the police facility or on the sidewalk um, to the front of the police department with some anti-police sentiment. Um, obviously things that we don't want to have ha uh, be out there because there's children and, and a variety of different people that visit the facility throughout the day. It's appropriate to lay the context of what actually occurred prior to officers actually physically removing those items. We had asked several of the uh, protesters if they wanted to take those things with them and the group that you saw were to my knowledge the very last people who were present at the protest and we were and officers asked them it wasn't captured on their video but it was it was officers asked if they wanted to take it and ultimately people started walking away so we believe that it was abandoned at that point in time when we went over there and asked for this stuff he was very rude and said no obviously want people to be able to place things and, 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 and have the ability to express themselves and, and get those emotions out. But we also want to make sure that um, the stuff that is placed up is, is um, in good taste. A little cop watch from Bakersfield, California. Please be attentive, don't use your cell phones, 
Drive carefully, watch your speed. Have Makes a great sense. day. Makes sense. Any badge number if you don't mind? Mind if I get your badge number real quick? Hey, give me badge number?